Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan of Softcore Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3! It's spring! And several things have changed. But, uh, yeah, first of all, yeah, I've got my... Let's see, where are they? I got the power foods that I got from the new there. I, uh, yeah, permanently raises your strength by just one point. Uh, well, I guess I'll... Just show it real quick. Yeah, notice reuse power there is 19. And let's see. I want to give those to him. Because I would give, for the early game at least, I would give all my stat boosting items that you get to uh, Ryu there. <laughs> so. Yeah, set as 21. Awesome. Yeah, that'll help a little bit. Now. Yeah, before I go any further, I actually want to go back into McNeil Village here. And make my way over to, like, the item or weapon shop, because, uh, I have some... Well, actually, the item shop, specifically. I already did a little bit of shopping last time. Before the fishing video. Yep, since you helped this out, I'll give you a special rate, which she... Which is totally a lie, by the way. Oh, actually, I think I have something to sell that I don't care about. Oh, yeah, I had the plate and the Molotov here, which are worth, yeah, five zenny a piece. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell those now just to get an extra ten zenny there. The weather vane, I'm almost certainly not gonna use. Wind is not a terribly useful element. Uh, one, because no bosses in the game are weak to wind, and two, because the relatively few enemies who are weak to wind are can typically be one shot anyway there's only like one instance where i really really want like the wind element and the main use for the wind element as it is is that uh it i think every spell is multi-target <laughs> pretty much there so yeah i'll sell this eventually but this is 100 zenny so yeah what i want to do while i'm here is I want to buy healing herbs enough to clear out my money there as close to one zenny as I can, which I'm kind of surprised. Usually I end up having to buy like one or two, like one croc tier <laughs> to, uh, you know, get my money as close to one as possible. But yeah, it just so happens to be that I was, you know, one had one extra zenny there. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I needed to, I could, you know, steal money from somebody if I really wanted to. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I should talk to some of you people. I forget if I did last time. Oh, yeah, we got taxes. Always, oh, actually, I think I did talk to you. Yeah, we will go to Windia eventually, but... Oh, yeah? yeah? I guess, but... Yeah, the reason I want to lose all my money is because there's a certain person of interest who's appeared now that it's spring. I guess I can't go that way. And that is over here where this tree's been chopped down. Oh, what does it say? Yeah, the giant Yidra's Hill tree has been cut down. Those are kind of important, in a sense, at least. Uh, more on those later. But here in this little area, there's a person. Actually, it's technically a monster. <laughs> we'll see this guy as a monster way later in the game, but yeah, we have this uh, guy. The Great Wizard Mygus. At least I, I think it's pronounced Mygus. I always pronounced it Mygus. Yeah, he's on a journey. But he's used all his money and can't find any food, even though food is plentiful in the spring, but yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Exchange for all your money, however much you may have on you at the time, which is why I got rid of my money. Yeah, I'll teach you my most powerful magics. Yeah, in other words, I'll be your master, because my guess is the first of 17 masters in the game. More on that in just a minute. Yeah, and you'll be my apprentice. Yeah, the more you train, the more spells you'll be able to use. Uh, well, technically. <laughs> it only gives you, like, three spells, technically, but... Yeah, what do you say? 
and we're gonna say yes, and we'll give him our one zenny, which is enough to get him by for some reason. It's a lot nicer than in Breath of Fire 4, where the master that wants all of your money is like a quarter of the way through the game at a point where you don't really want to lose all your money. <laughs> or sacrifice your money like that, but... Yeah, I'm one who's going places. Oh yeah, I'm going here, that's where. You come my apprentice. Yeah, your AP and intelligence will go up faster. Of course, your power and defense won't go up as fast. Most of the masters are not so upfront about what they'll do for you. <laughs> yeah, who wants to be my apprentice? And I'm just gonna say no for the moment by pressing the triangle button. Yeah, farewell! Come back after you've gotten stronger. But yeah, oh, actually, can I steal my, back my money? I guess I could steal my money back from him. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, before I go a little bit further into him, I want to go back into camp real quick. Come on. I want to go back into camp real quick. Thank you. Yeah, not a random encounter. And, oh. I, oh, yeah, I think I have talked to you two right now, right? I suppose... Oh, I guess I haven't. Or have I? Yeah, I suppose a little thing never hurt anyone. Hehe. <laughs> But yeah, now that we have a master, we can look at the master list. And we can see, well, what masters we have, which right now we just have Midas. And if we click on them, they'll it'll give us an idea of, you know, how it will affect our stats. Now, like I said at some point before, uh, our whenever we a character levels up, it is predetermined what they're gonna get. Like every level is preset for every character. You know, level two they're gonna gain so much HP, attack, defense, etc., etc., etc. And for the most part, that does not and that cannot change unless you're apprenticed under a master. So if I apprentice under my guess, let's say, like, you know, reuse level 2 right now, let's say I was supposed to gain uh, plus 4 uh, AP at my next level, which I'm not, <laughs> then because I'm apprentice under my guess, I would gain plus 5. So yeah, you can see the stat boost there, AP plus 1, intelligence plus 2, power minus 1, and defense minus 1. So yeah, ev almost every master has like a positive and a negative of sorts that they'll give you, and usually, which usually will turn out to be like more positive than negative. Like you know, like because you, you can see I have like one extra point compared to what I would lose. Now, one thing to keep in mind about these level ups is that even though it does say like power minus one, so you know if. Uh, for the early level ups for Ryu, for example, uh, you typically only get like plus one power and defense, but because this is minus one, I would get plus zero, so I wouldn't gain any power or defense for most level ups for like, I think my, my first eight level ups, something to that effect. But uh, let's just if, let's just say, for example, you know, I, uh, for level three, Ryu was supposed to get, you know, plus zero power. Fortunately, with the way this works, I can't lose stats upon leveling up. So even though this would technically give me, you know, power minus one, I still would only gain, you know, power plus zero. It would just, you know, round up so that it's never a negative number. So technically, if you know what all the level ups you know, what you're supposed to get for all your level ups, which you could because there are extensive lists online for, you know, what what uh, your stats are supposed to gain for every single level for every character. <laughs> then, you know, you could say, oh, I want to be under, you know, this master for, you know, levels three and four, but I want to be under this other master who, you know, gives me, like, minus three agility for, you know, uh, levels five and six, because I'm not supposed to gain any agility for those two levels, so I can get the most out of my, you know, master growth, but, yeah, I'm, I'm not insane, I'm not that insane, I mean, I am kind of insane when it comes to that sort of thing, especially in, like, stat growth and freaking Final Fantasy VI, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm not that insane for this game, I, I, I usually like to stick with particular masters overall, except for certain things. Now, before I go back to my guess there, there is one more thing about 
some masters that it usually but sometimes tells you and that is that some masters will also temporarily affect your hidden stats this is not like you know the permanent ones you see here it will not like you know permanently grow your hidden stat upon level up or anything like that but rather while you're apprenticed under the master my guess in this instance you'll uh, temporarily gain a, a boost or subtraction to, you know, one or more of your hidden stats. In my guess's case, as long as we're apprenticed under him, we'll have plus five added to our surprise stat, and we'll have minus two subtracted from our dodge stat. But that'll go back to normal once, you know, we're not apprenticed under my guess again. However, beyond step boost, there are other benefits, or, well, one other <laughs> major benefit. Get over there to apprenticing under masters. And that is that they can teach you skills. Uh, specific... Well, couldn't steal any money from... Steal my money back there, but yeah, specifically uh, these skills over here. Yeah, if we can add it to here. Yeah, add it to those skills that I've uh, have I've gotten all the ones I can at this point. <laughs> now, skills that we can learn from masters are not necessarily uh, specific to masters. Like, for example, the well, I guess I could have should have while I was back in camp, but I had like the unmotivate skill that I got from the goblins. Like, there's a master that actually teaches us the unmotivate skill if you don't decide to get it from a monster, or, you know, learn it from a monster, but there's a lot of skills that are unique to masters. For one thing, are spells, like, specifically spells that characters can learn. Like, we, well, we don't have any for any of you guys right now, but, like, the, like, Tipo is gonna learn the frost spell at, I, I think it was level three, if I remember correctly. And Mygus will actually teach us the Frost spell as well, because we can't, because even though we could, tr you know, try to observe monsters that, you know, teach us the Frost spell, we can't. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I presume maybe it's because, you know, characters learn it naturally. Yeah, welcome back, my students. Anyone else wants to study under me? Yes! And I want Tipo to apprentice under him. And I wasn't planning on doing this originally, but I'm gonna also going to have Ryu apprentice under Mygus, because there really is no way you can go wrong with growing Ryu stats. He's just that good. <laughs> no, thank you. Farewell. But yeah, but the way they teach stats, at least in this game, is that you have to apprentice under them for a certain number of levels. So, in my guess's case, if I want to learn the Frost spell, I... Oh, I have to gain uh, one level while apprenticing under him, and he'll give me the Frost spell to, you know, one character, as it were. And furthermore, for him, if I get four levels under him, I'll get the Meditation skill. If I get six levels, uh, I will learn a spell called Magic Ball, and if I get eight levels under him, I will learn the Typhoon spell, which I believe was the same thing the weather... Actually, no, it's a weaker spell than what the weather bang gives me, never mind. But yeah, it's like the weakest wind elemental spell, but still hits all enemies. It's actually decent, I suppose, if I ever, you know, deem to use wind element. But the thing is, these have... For this game specifically, they have to be cons uh, consecutive levels. You can't say, oh, let me gain one level under my guess now to learn the Frost spell, and then I, you know, I go to some other master for a little while, and then I say, oh, let me go back to my guess now and, you know, get three more levels from the meditation scale. No, no. You, you, it has to be four levels total under my guess in, you know, without apprenticing, or you're know, losing your apprenticeship, as it were. Yeah, without apprenticing under anyone else to get that meditation skill there. So that is one thing that they actually changed for the better in Breath of Fire 4. You you don't ever have to apprentice under any masters to actually learn skills in that game. But this is Breath of Fire 3, and yeah, we have to uh, be essentially be low-leveled to quickly learn skills. That's 
the main reason I held, well, I was gonna hold Tipo back no matter what, but it's also one of the reasons I held Ryu back, even though I actually, you know, decided I might as well get stat boosts for him, but I want to get, uh, level ups, like, here in the battlefields eventually for Ryu and Tipo now that I have Apprentice under my guess, but before that, we have fishing spots here in the spring. Uh, you see there's two here, but that one way over there, we unfortunately can't get to for quite some time there. Uh, yeah, I'd have to be able to, yeah, not only go down here to the Rail Road, but you can, you can see the bridge is out over there, and it's going to be out for quite some time. So, uh, yeah, I can't actually get over to that other fishing spot, but we do have access to two other fishing spots here. And even though I did extensively go over fishing in my, like, basic fishing video, I didn't go over a specific fish or, you know, what they, uh, what baits they want and also their overall sizes. So, yeah, go to the basic fishing guide if you want to get some, you know, information about fishing here. Uh, which I will have in the video description pretty much every time I go fishing, actually. <laughs> oh, good. There's a rainbow trout right there. But, uh... Yeah, since we have the heavy... Oh, yeah, I forgot I wanted to sell my sinker, but that's all right. I I already did all my fishing off-screen, so, yeah, I'll, I, I will have sold my extra sinker because I forgot I got one in, uh one in the battlefield. I found one in the battlefield there, but yeah, since we're given the Heavy Karo, which is the, you know, level 4 worm type lore, uh, I, m I typically use this for most of uh, my fishing for a lot of the game. <laughs> for anything that, you know, does want a worm bait, because not everything does. There's three different kinds of fish that are in this first fishing spot. Jellyfish, piranha, and rainbow trout. Jellyfish, of course, well, those ones right there in front of me, those clearly are jellyfish. And we've also got piranha, which are those kind of darker shaped ones that are, well, that one right there that's on the screen, that little fish, darker. And then we have the rainbow trout, which are the slightly larger and lighter colored one right there that you can see. I mean, I wish I could stop on it. But, well, I could if I actually fished. <laughs> but yeah, those lighter colored ones, there's actually two right there. As you can see there. Uh, it's kind of supposed to indicate like what depth they are, but yeah, depth really doesn't matter as far as fishing goes. Now, there are, for this particular fishing spot, there are 10 jellyfish, 6 piranha, and 4 rainbow trout. And, yeah, every time we exit and come back in, those will reset to, you know, 10, 6, and 4, respectively there. So, you, you know, you can just fish to your heart's content. It's a really fun mini game, as far as I'm concerned. I love the fishing in this one. Unlike the fishing in the, well, the other three out of the first four Breath of Fire games, where it's not quite so fun. Especially the, you know, first two games, where it's not particularly interesting. Now, one thing about the fish is that generally they'll start in the same overall range. Like, you see the, you know, there's like three jellyfish kind of like right there in like the 10 to 20 meter range there. And there should be like two rainbow trout that started in like the 20 to 30 meter range. Yeah, because every, those lines that you see are actually like 10 meters, roughly. Since I have the, per, the uh, jellyfish there, let me just go ahead and catch one real quick. These guys are what I call trash fish. They will bite any kind of bait, basically. Oh. Whoa, 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 you're actually gonna struggle a bit? Wow. Yeah, these guys will eat any kind of bait except for the coin. Oh, wow. 27. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've explained uh, how the, you know, the centimeters and the points and all that are in uh, my basic fishing guide. But one thing to say about jellyfish is they max out at 30 centimeters if you're looking for the biggest possible one, which will be worth 100 points there. So, only two fishing spots have jellyfish, oddly enough, and one of them is not the one that's like right across from here. Wow, there's a rainbow trout right there. Yeah, one thing I do love to do is just like, 
quickly fish out stuff that's right in front of me, because I usually can catch them, like, immediately. <laughs> Got the rainbow trout. 45. Oh, yeah, these guys actually max out at 70 centimeters and are worth up to 300 points for the largest kind there. And then we got the piranhas. Oh, yeah, yeah, rainbow trout will go after a worm or a fish bait, by the way. Are there? Oh, yeah, there's, that guy should be a piranha. But unfortunately, I've got the jellyfish right there. I wanted to... Nah, I knew the jellyfish was going to get it. Sure. Yeah, some, a lot of times I want to fish out, like, a few of the fish that are, like, right there in front of me, even if they're trash fish, like jellyfish, just to get them out of the way of the fish I really want, which in this case is the rainbow trout, but, yeah, this should be a piranha right here. It, jerk, jerk. Really gonna struggle, huh? <laughs> You got piranhas, who also will go for any kind of bait, as you honestly would kind of expect, given that it's a freaking piranha. <laughs> These guys will max out at 40 centimeters, and they're worth a maximum of 150 points. Now, let's see. While I'm here, uh, uh, well, I don't necessarily have to do it, but I'm going to want a total of six piranha. Uh, as many as 12, depending on, you know, what I want to get. Because uh, one thing I explained in the basic fishing video is the Manilo shopkeepers, who is actually in the other fishing spot. I'll explain in just a moment here in this video. And rather than take money for new stuff, they take fish. And none of the Manilo shops ever want jellyfish. And also I'm going to want to get... Let's see, where is it? I want to get eight rainbow trout, or I think 11, depending on if I've already bought waste cloth, because waste cloth is one of the things I can buy here, or in the other Manila shop. But I actually want to get as many as 21 rainbow trout, and as many as 12 piranha, but I don't necessarily have to get all the piranha here in this fishing spot. Because they're also in the other fishing spot there. And heading over to the other fishing spot, I'll explain the actual fish themselves in just a moment. What, what, uh, you know, what they're worth uh, as far as catching them goes. But yeah, for fishing spot number two, we have four different kinds of fish. Piranha, puffers, trout, and... Oh, yeah, the Manila, who should be swimming out in like that 20 to 30-ish meter range, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, there he is, over there in like the 30-ish meter range. But, uh, yeah, for this one, we have eight piranha, eight puffers, four trout, and one Manila. Now, the puffer fish are actually kind of hard to tell the difference between them and the piranhas, but pufferfish only wants the... Oh, I didn't sort these either. Yeah, they only want the float-type lures, which is like the old poppers and whatnot. Well, that one's definitely piranha. This one... Oh, is it, are you a piranha? Or are you a pufferfish? You might be a pufferfish, but yeah, they're actually kind of hard to tell apart in this area, but pufferfish... I don't, uh, I do need them for this area. Oh yeah, good, it is a pufferfish. Let's see, how many do I want? I want four pufferfish, or up to six, depending if you, because there's some stuff that I optionally want to buy. The, this is the only Manilo shop that actually wants pufferfish, so once I've caught as many as I have, I'm not going to need any more. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, these guys max out at uh, 50 centimeters and are worth up to 200 points for the biggest one there, so. And then, yeah, besides them and the piranhas, we have trouts, which will go, which, just like the rainbow trout, will go after either the worm or the fish bait. I might as well just use the heavy taro. They actually, I think, are, like, oh, yeah, that's that lighter one right there. Awesome. Yeah, just roll right over them, and they will almost certainly bite right off the bat. I mean, I know I'm using level 4. Woo! Yeah, I know I'm using level 4 bait, but still. 
it, even with level 1 bait, a lot of times if you just roll right and stop right over them, they'll frequently just bite, almost guaranteed. <laughs> so, yeah, that is a strategy I personally like to use there. But yeah, we have the regular trout there. Yeah, ultimately, let's see, where's my list there? I want to get 25. Four trouts, like up to 24 trouts for the future there. You don't necessarily need that many. I could get like as few as like eight trout, if I'm not mistaken there. So, yeah, there's the trout. And let's see where, well, it doesn't matter, actually. I could just, yeah, for the coin, that's what the Manila wants. No other fish wants the coin, and he'll just gun right for the coin no matter where it is, as you can see there. And he'll usually just go straight to shore. Oh, yeah, the trout. Whoop, whoop, dude, 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 dude. Really? You're actually going to struggle? What the heck? Yeah, the trout max out at 70 centimeters and are worth up to 250 points. And the Manila is oddly enough... Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> These guys max out at 200 centimeters. I can't believe I got one that big, but I already did my fishing on uh, off screen, so I don't think I have him quite this big. <laughs> really? And they're worth up to 500 points. Uh... 200 cent I think that's like six foot three or something like six foot three or something like they're pretty tall actually <laughs> they're actually tied for the tallest for the biggest fish out there but yeah the Manila shops they want fish and yeah the reason I want all these is because I want to get you know silver knives and iron helms and if I hadn't already stolen waist claws from the boss goblins I would want three waist claws as well because yeah I want three of each of these for all my characters these are the strongest weapon the strongest helmet and armor you could possibly get at this point but I wasn't necessarily planning on it I might as well get the spirit even though I already have the high the you know biggest the best worm bait <laughs> I wasn't, I also wasn't planning on getting the, uh, baby frog there, right? Oh, actually, no, I was. I wasn't planning on getting the float lore, because I don't necessarily need that, although I think I actually would need that relatively early, since all the, all the fish that want only the float lore are actually pretty early in the game. Although, interestingly, now that it's spring, we could actually fi rarely find this in the battlefield, so there is that option as well. And, uh, yeah, the pup, the popper there, which, you know, was the, the, uh, bigger old popper, as it were. But, yeah, I want three of each of these and one of each of these, because I might as well. And I also want two of the skill inks. This is one of two Manila shops that has worthwhile skill ink, because it doesn't cost much. Only one rainbow trout and one trout. Uh, there's other ones that'll cost, like, three fish, and I think even one that costs, like, four fish, and it's like, those are so not worth it compared to this and the next Manilo shot, which, you know, barely costs you anything, and they're fairly easy to catch fish, and it's like, yeah, if you're gonna get skill inks, only get them from this or the next Manilo shop. So... Anyway, I've done all the fish- oh, actually, before that, I should uh, talk about the actual fish themselves. I wasn't expecting it to take that long. Wow. Anyway, we got, yeah, jellyfish. These are only worth one HP. I just sell these. These are not even worth much money. But, uh, yeah. I, well, I could show it off in the actually back in town now that I think about it. But yeah, one thing that is nice about fish is that they're worth uh, more money than the equivalent items that you otherwise could purchase or, well, usually find. So for example, you know, the trout will heal uh, 40 HP, which, you know, is the same as a regular healing item there. Yeah, healing herb. That's, you know, normally costs 10 zenny. You can sell it for 5 zenny if you want. But you can sell the... Oh, no. Yeah, you can sell the trout for 40 zenny. 
So yeah, these guys are worth a lot more than their equivalent items that you otherwise could buy. We have the Pufferfish. Wow, really? Why is that happening right now? Yeah, which is, yeah, Flame Attack versus one. These are exactly the same as the Ammonia, or not the Ammonia, the Molotov there. Except they're worth a lot more money if you, yeah, really want it. Yeah, worth 25 zennies, so they, they, it is worthwhile to buy, or to, you know, fish out extras if you really want to. Piranhas, they restore 20 HP. I don't mind having extras of these guys if need be. Although, yeah, they do sell for 25 zenny if you need it. But, yeah, having extras for, yeah, anything that's like 20 or more HP is really useful to have long term. I'm actually not going to sell back all these healing herbs that I've got. Because it's... I have reasons why I want to have uh, extra healing herbs <laughs> for the future there. And then we have the Rainbow Trout, which is the really big one. Restores 5 AP, which may not sound like much. But in this game, you cannot purchase... AP healing items, they are very precious, because we're not even going to find a whole lot of them throughout the game either. So yeah, fishing is your primary way of healing AP there. I like to have a lot of extra, like rainbow trout and other fish that restore AP, because AP is like super important, especially for Ryu and a few other characters there. Well, at least like one other character <laughs> anyway but yeah it's really important for being able to heal in dungeons because outside of the first two dungeons most dungeons do not have healing spots and or even save points for that matter because a lot of them are actually pretty short but uh yeah you it, it, it is really important for healing ap there but uh oop, no i don't want to go there either yeah, fortunately, I've done my fishing off-screen. Alrighty, awesome. And, yeah, I have all the fish, and I've sold and bought a bunch of stuff as well. <laughs> well, no, I haven't bought anything, but yeah, I've sold... Uh, Actually, have I sold anything yet? Oh, I haven't yet in this this one, this file. That's right. But yeah, I've got all the different fish that I want. I've got a whole bunch of extra piranhas just by happenstance. And you're almost guaranteed to catch at least a few extra jellyfish, even if you're not gunning for them. But yeah, I've got my 21 rainbow trout and trout uh, for the future there. I've got... Actually, more... Where, where's the puffer? Oh, yeah, he's down here. Yeah, I actually got two more puffers than I needed because I kind I didn't actually realize I didn't need the extra two puffer fish. But, yeah, I did... S oh, that's right. Yeah, I did sell uh, my extra... Uh, sinker there that I had off screen there. And I, I'm missing an item in my fishing because it, I have it equipped <laughs> for the fishing there. Or, oh, no, actually, I want to go to the shop. I kind of forgot. Whoops. <laughs> Doi. Oh, no, not the farm. Ah, I do that. Hang on a sec. Come here, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a new record? Really? <laughs> Dang, that's small. <laughs> I did not do well at all with the fishing, did I? Dang! I kind of wish I had kept that other, that other much bigger Manilo now, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, yeah, for this I want to get my three silver knives. I want to get my three iron helms. I already have waste cloths that I stole off screen. And I might as well get a spirit, a baby frog, a popper, and a float, even though I'm... Well, I'm, I'm never going to use this. Spirit, but the other ones I might use, and then I want to get two skill inks, at least two more, for the foreseeable future. And you can see I have a whole bunch of extra rainbow trout and trout there, and that's because I want to stock up on as many silver knives as I can, because I can sell this for 700 zenny, which is really nice. Yeah, 700 zenny a piece. Yeah, which is, uh, really nice. Oh, and before I do, what are my the records I have for... Er, not bad. But yeah, what are the records I have? 27? Oh, close. 40? Oh, wow! I have the biggest piranha possible. Nice. Puffers, 33, which is... 
yeah, pretty small. 50, max is at 50. Trout, 67. Pretty close to the maximum of 70 for both of these guys, actually. Wow. And then, yeah, I think the vanilla's at the very end. Yeah, 105. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll just actually see what I have in, because I... Because I've done something else off-screen here. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, to equip all that stuff. I got my silver knife. My, oh, yeah, I already have the cloth shields that I bought off-screen before. Iron helms. And, yeah, that'll be... Yeah, really nice for the... For the foreseeable future there. Iron Helm for you. And a Silver Knife, which, yeah. Also, they only have a weight of one, which is really nice. And they are Holy Elemental, which is relatively rare. Although it's Holy is not quite as obscene as it was in Breath of Fire 2. Because Spirit-type monsters don't exist anymore. I mean, there is another one called a Devil-type monster that essentially replaced them. But it, it doesn't resist, like, every single element, including non-elemental, like the spirit-type monsters did in Breath of Fire 2, so, yeah, this is, it's still a really good element, but it's not quite as obscene as it was in the previous game there, so, yeah, you can see, yeah, what our stats are there, like this. Now, the next thing I want to do, because I am Apprentice under, oh, not that, yeah, because I'm Apprentice under Midas, which you can see in status there, is I want to level Ryu and Tipo up to level 7 there. Like, I was inten intending for Ryu to be at level 1, but I might, I, it, really, it really doesn't matter <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I was originally not going to worry about uh, holding him back at this point. Although, if you want, you could hold him back at level 1 for the next dungeon as well because there's a nut another much better master that you could uh, you know apprentice him under uh, that will be available after the next dungeon but I'm not gonna go that far even though he it actually a, a lot of people actually do do that but yeah what I want to do is just go to the battlefield kill Ray so that he doesn't get extra experience points and also so that Ryu and Tipo get you know, more experience points, and just get to level 7, and also, you know, there's, there's items somewhere in the battlefield, I like to collect those, like, I'll get into, like, two or three battles, exit the, the battlefield, come back in, and then, you know, you know, find the next item, and, you know, do that to, Plus, I'll be winning money and items, and also, if I come across a situation like this, thank you, I want to try to steal. Oh, I actually should have unequipped, uh, Ray's armor for this, because I don't think we can do much damage to him at all. But I also want to, you know, steal from whatever I can, and, you know, get additional waste claws for more money, or bent swords from these goblins, because, you know, that'll be worthwhile, because I... And, uh, well, I have already done that off-screen, fortunately. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, that's how I would do it. Unfortunately, this is, well, this is like the, well, I'm not gonna actually keep this since I've already done it off-screen, but, yeah, this is the most extreme, uh, I'm gonna go as far as, like, you know, stuff I have to do off-screen goes, because, like, all that fishing and all the level granting I do with Ryu and Tipo, that... I spent, I believe, like an hour and 20 minutes doing that. There is no other instance where I spend that much time just to... Oh, there's the item. What's this one, by the way? Antidote. Usually I get old poppers. For some reason, I get like two or three old poppers. Yeah, whenever I did that off screen. So, anyway... Now, yeah, that I've done that all off screen, which, like I said, took me like an hour and 20 minutes, which that is the most amount of time I'll ever spend on something like that. I I didn't have to do all that fishing either, <laughs> but that's just kind of, you know, what I ended up doing because I wanted the extra money. Have I sold? Yeah, I, I've already sold everything as well, if I'm not mistaken. Everything extra I had. Oh, no, I haven't yet. 
Oh, so I have my... Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I got a lot of extra money from selling all the uh, weapons. Yeah, all those... Uh, yeah, daggers and whatnot that I just bought. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I've got stuff to sell. Yeah, more stuff now. Yeah, with that and combined with the... Uh, yeah, all the other things there. So, let's see. Do I have anything here? Oh, yeah! That's right. I I stole marbles. I forget what enemy I steal these from. Huh. Well, anyway, yeah. These are only worth five zenny. I'm not really worried about that. So, get yeah, that. I found a Molotov, I think, on the battlefield, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell that. I got my extra piranhas and rainbow trails that I want to keep. I actually already sorted my items the way I want them to be. Now I have six bent swords because I stole a bunch of extra ones and I stole a bunch of extra pointed sticks as well. I only want two pointed sticks for the foreseeable future and if you have them make sure you have either one like either well two daggers or and, and uh, two bent swords or oh no no uh, three bent swords, or one dagger and four bent swords for the future. Let's see, so I got six, so I'm just, yeah, I just want to sell two of those. So yeah, I got my four bent swords for the future. This is for a side quest that will actually unlock a master later on. Because <laughs> yeah, I need to have, I think, 15 different weapons in my inventory, not counting the ones who have equipped, which is why I have extra ones so that I can, you know, have, uh, you know, something else equipped <laughs> and still have it in my inventory there. But anyway, since I've gotten to level 7 with Ryu and Tipo there, yeah, there are level ups. Yeah, they have like all this extra AP and uh, intelligence there and not so much on the power and defense, although as you can see, Tipo's uh, stat growth is actually really good, <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> But yeah, I've gained uh, five levels with Ryu and six with Tipo, which means that I can get uh, the first two skills with Ryu and the first three with Tipo. And, oh, not here. <laughs> now, now, this normally wouldn't come up. I didn't even think about this until I actually, you know, did it. But, you know, if you have multiple characters who are apprenticing under a master and... Uh, you multiple characters get uh, have the requirements for the skills that you can learn and you know you haven't already taken the skills because you can only get them once you know from the masters is uh, what order you are here on this like like this you know I have Tipo leading now I have Ray leading now I have Ryu leading now with Tipo in the back there uh, whatever order you are like this will determine, you know, what master, or what skills you'll, or what order you'll learn, or who will learn what skills. So since Ryu is in the lead, he'll actually learn the first skill, which is Frost, and Tipa will learn the second skill, which is uh, Meditation there. Yeah, you deserve a reward, therefore I give you this. If I had Tipo in the lead, he would be the one learning Frost, and Ryu would be the one learning meditation. And the reason it does this is because you can normally only learn one skill at a time whenever you talk to them like this. So, you know, if I had only, you know, gotten all three skills with just Tipo, I'd have to talk to him three times to learn all three of them, even though I met the requirements for all three. Yeah, Tipo learned meditation. Now, while I'm here, if I say no, He'll say, oh, I can scarcely imagine, but, you know, do you want to not be an apprentice? And, you know, if I say yes, I can say, oh, hey, you know, I don't want to be an apprentice anymore, but only if I am uh, an apprentice under this particular master. So if I clicked on Ryu, I could, you know, have him not be a master, or have him not apprentice anymore and just get regular level ups. I don't really ever do that, because you don't have to do that if you want to apprentice under a different master, fortunately. You can just switch masters, you know, whenever you meet them, For thankfully. <laughs> but one thing I do like to do, because I am going to be talking to you one more time to learn the third skill, because I, I actually want Ryu to have Frost for the foreseeable future. I have uses for it, and Tipo to have Meditation there. 
Yeah, since Tipo's the only one, uh, that, you know, has met the requirements, I'm gonna learn a magic ball for him, otherwise I wouldn't put Tipo in the lead, because I do want him specifically to have magic ball there. But, yeah, is there anyone else who wants to study under me? And typically, I just say yes, because then, once I get to this screen, I can just press triangle to cancel out, and I don't have to go through the whole, oh, you know, doesn't anyone not want to? And, you know, I had to make another, you know, yes or no answer, but I don't have to if I just go to the, oh, yes, I do want to apprentice screen. So anyway, regarding these skills there, oh, and that reminds me, yeah, I've learned uh, Purify and Protect for Ryu there. Purify, which I, I believe is level 4 he learns this, is, yeah, just cures poison and protect at level 6. He did say defense buff there, which is nice. And Tipo has, yeah, learned Frost and Samoon. Samoon being kind of a special element that's both fire and wind put together. A little stronger than flare, but, you know, it's it's useful as long as, you know, an enemy doesn't absorb one or the other element. <laughs> but we also have these skills that we've now learned from uh, Mygus there. We can, you know, put them... Oh, yeah, we can put them away with note if we want to, just like, you know, with other any other skill, and then use the skill inks to, you know, Teach them to someone else at camp if we want. But yeah, I got Frost for Ryu there. Same thing, exact same thing as the Frost spell here that Tipo's got. I have uses for that later on. Then we have Meditation, which is a special skill that temporarily raises your intelligence. Or more so, just kind of doubles the uh, uh, does as much as doubling the power of your next spell. You can use this up to two times, and basically, if you use it once, it'll increase the power of your next uh, spell by 1.5 times. And if you use it twice, it'll do tr uh, double damage. And yeah, if you try to use it again, it won't increase the power anymore. So yeah, just up to twice. Usually, I only end up using that once. But yeah, this is pretty nice for a spellcaster, at least for like the early and mid game, because again, or did I say so yet? Well, if I haven't, uh, yeah, magic is pretty mediocre in the long run, like physical attacks are king by the end of the game, you'll see why. Although you wouldn't think so given that we also receive magic ball, which for 2 AP is an absurd Insanely powerful spell for this point in the game. Like, not counting elemental weakness, this is basically stronger than the strongest elemental spells. That's how ridiculous it is right now. This is going to do, this can like one shot like any random encounter right now, even without meditation. It is ridiculous at this point in the game. I can't believe they give it to the first master you come across. Uh, and in Breath of Fire, I haven't played all the way through Breath of Fire 4 or anything, but I think they don't give it to you until, like, closer to, like, the mid or end game or something in that one. So, yeah, it's ridiculous. I'll be able to show that off next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I'm still going to be stay apprenticing under Mygus for the foreseeable future, although I, because I do want to at least get the last skill for Tipo there. But I'm not going to be, you know, getting much higher level than, uh, I don't want to get any higher level than 8, or, or sorry, 9 for Ryu and Tipo. Actually, no, I think it's, oh, actually, yeah, it is 9. That's right, 8 levels for that one, so, yeah, I don't want to get any higher than not level 9 for Ryu and Tipo, or Ray for that matter. But, uh, yeah, for next time, we'll be continuing with the plot, and, well, let's go find that Loki character. <laughs> shady as he may seem, or sound, for that matter, next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Arrivederci! Actually, before I leave, I kind of forgot I still had a couple more things to sell that I had in my inventory. I, for I forgot to look in my uh, armor and, you know, others or whatever it was called, the option there, because I have a few extra old poppers that I found in, uh, yeah, the battlefield there. I don't think I have anything extra there. And then I still want to have one bracer and one bandana for the future, because they only have a weight of zero. There's a 
reason for it. And then I have extra waist claws. I believe I'm already equipped with waist claws, correct? Yeah, waist claws. So yeah, I, I found I managed to steal a whole bunch of extra waist claws there. So I do want to sell those two. And I totally forgot to even mention this, but oh yeah, these are worth a lot of money too. 105 zenny a piece. But yeah, 5,011 zenny. This is like half of what I was kind of thinking I might want to have at this point, because I'm gonna be, you know, wanting to buy quite a few extra weapons and whatnot that I don't need. Uh, just for the sake of the side quest later on, where, you know, I need to have 15 extra uh, we weapons in my inventory there. So, yeah, there, yeah, you'll probably need around like 10,000 zenny altogether if you want to just, you know, not need, uh, not worry about any, having any extra, or like any lost funds, <laughs> as it were, even though we will be, be able to sell those weapons eventually, but... In any case, yeah, I just wanted to point that out real quick. So, yeah, now, next time. <laughs>